Storm and I worked so well together, we really did. We sort of had a synergy. Storm said, let's just do a cover that's completely meaningless, has no meaning whatsoever. What's the most meaningless thing we can do? We'll just get a picture of a cow and we'll stick it on there. All I did was I drove out of London. This is the first cow I saw. We jumped over a fence, took a picture of a cow, jumped back over the fence, got in the car and came home. Lulu Bell III, she was called. And we photographed that, showed the band, and Roger went, that's it, that's, that's it. And Storm said, there's one proviso, no name on the cover and no title. He went, perfect. I was probably one of a great chorus of voices that went, oh, how fucking cool is that? Putting a cow on a record cover, that's weird. When I showed it to the um, managing director of the record company, he went apoplectic. The veins in his neck stood out and he kept scratching his head and getting redder and crosser and saying to me, what has a cow got to do with Pink Floyd? Are you fucking mad? So I said, it's not my fault, it's their fault. Blame them. So this is another example of getting away with blue murder, getting away with a hell of a lot, because what has a cow got to do with Pink Floyd? I think they're one of the few bands who at the time could get away with this kind of rubbish. They were so overwhelmed by it. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, I mean, they, they were okay. absolutely surprised. They said, um, you know, great, we've got to have multi-million dollar spending on this. And they promoted it with large um, inflatable pink cow udders that went out to all the dealers, the record shops, I mean, in thousands. And I always remember in, going to LA, walking down Sunset Strip, and there was the cow. And I remember people saying, have you seen that picture of the cow on the strip? Of course, it's a failure because the cow itself becomes iconic. And it's not a nothing cover in the end. It seems like it has some sort of special, uh, special meaning or something. It was very nice sometimes just to make sure there was something there that just said, you know, this isn't really 100% full-on serious. <laughs>